Jack, who's after me? Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program. And someone said to me, hey Archie, we've seen these, uh, this video before. No, this is all fresh video. I went down to the Gold Coast just for you fuckers because I like to document how the place is falling into decline and the shitter. So no, these, these are all, this is all fresh video and uh, I have great uh, pleasure in, in bringing you um, stories about the Gold Coast decline. And uh, let's just have a look here. Have a look around the streets here. There's a general grottiness, general grottiness. It, uh, it just looks dirty, grotty, you know, like someone's puked on the pavement about 50 million times. It just looks low rent. And uh, this is lunchtime. Look at this. You can see all the tourists here. Look at this. Closed shops, closed restaurants. They're all closed up there. You know, obviously he's had a lockout. He hasn't paid the rent or something's gone really bad there. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty desperate there. And uh, you, you notice a general lack of tourists here. Yep. It's, uh, this is the Gold Coast, fuckers. It's, uh, that tourism boom is all gone. It's all over, Red Rover, fuckers. The tourism boom that, uh, you know, everyone thought would last forever. Well, fuckers, it, uh, it doesn't quite do that, I'm sorry. It's, um, it's over. And, uh, the Gold Coast is looking grottier, grimier, nastier than ever. And one thing I find quite, uh, funny is the way that, They've tried to hide the destitution. Now look at this, you've got a restaurant here where they've put chairs outside the front of another restaurant to just make it look like, oh yeah, that's our area too. But hang on a minute, isn't that a vacant premise? Aren't they vacant? Definitely, Archie, they're definitely vacant. And um, this is the whole thing. The whole class of tenants here has gone down a lot. The other very interesting thing is that you just see a lot of uh, temporary sort of businesses there. Uh, you know, fly-by-nighters, they just rent it short term, run a business, then they get the fuck out. And you can tell this by the cheap signs they've got there. It's all, it's all transient. They're transient type shops. This here is uh, the Moroccan center. What do you got? You got Hermes, you got Prada. You used to have Cartier. Cartier, um... Cartier moved out, fuckers. That's right. They um, they saw the writing on the wall. Sales sales were uh, falling, and uh, they they moved their business to Brisbane, which is a bit of an oxymoron. But uh, there you go. This is the the situation. The Cartier store at the Gold Coast. They've uh, completely. They just moved out. The lease came up, and they they got the fuck out of there. If you're not selling big volume. Now look at this, next door to Cartier, it used to be a Farragino store. Look at it now, Palm Nails and Spa. I don't want to be rude, but look at this with that tacky open sign. Specials there, $30 nail treatment. I mean, fuck, how much more low rent do you want than this? Right next door to it, another vacant shop, and then you got Gucci. Now I'm sorry to say this, if you're a luxury brands expert, you don't want Gucci Hermes next to a discount fucking nail place. The only fucking thing worse that could happen is some cunt could move in there with a rub and tug service, Chinese massage, right next to a Hermes and a Gucci. And uh, the place is in decline. The place is in decline. I mean, you've got low rent tenants. And uh, the other thing is the council's doing a lot of work to try and bring up the area. I'm sorry, fuckers. It, it's tourism. There's no point painting some seats. It's This is serious decline. And you've also got some new retail space. This is space that's never had a tenant in. Completely vacant. And you've got a couple Chinese girls offering cheap one-hour massages out the front. Yeah, that's real classy, love. That, 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 uh, that really goes in, goes in well for the sort of, uh, punters you want to attract so it's it's pretty fucking terrible there it's um, a lot of vacant shops vacant and uh, the place just looks grimy it's got a really grimy f feel to it the footpaths and everything just looks grimy 
dirty, and I, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's just sleazy. Felice signs absolutely everywhere. Felice, Felice, Felice. It's uh, the writings on the wall. The Gold Coast is in huge decline. The other big thing is is that DFS had a multi-story duty-free store not far from here, which is um, closed down a couple years ago. It, it's been, it's still, there's a few tenants have uh, rented small areas, but it's still for the majority vacant. That's right, fuckers, it's vacant. You're not getting the Japanese tourists coming in. You're getting nasty Chinese tourists. And nasty Chinese tourists don't buy gifts for all the colleagues at work. They don't do fuck all. So you don't need these duty-free stores and luxury sort of places. Even parking's getting quite reasonable in the Gold Coast. This is right in the luxury precinct of the Gold Coast. You've got quite reasonable parking. That's a bad sign. They're, they're all set to screw you from day one. So, um, yes, it's looking very grudgy, very, very sad indeed there. And to add a little bit of class in this classy area, you got the cop shop. So, um, mm, that adds a bit of class to the uh, area. You've got all these police cars parked out front. That doesn't quite, doesn't quite um, set the right tone to the area. It's sort of, I'm um, sorry, I'm sorry, Queensland Police, but, um, you know, it just doesn't make it look up market when you've got so many fucking cars outside the front of Sin City. I mean, this is, this is a city in decline. It's all going downhill. Even the marble facades on these shops is all kicked in and dirty and grubby and it's just a it just looks so nasty. The whole place at the Gold Coast is just it's nasty town. It's very, very nasty. And uh, you've still got a lot of eateries, they're all half price. Half price, there's no punters, no fucking punters. They got a they're desperate. Have a look at this here. They've got Honeyland here and Vanity, some sort of nightclub. This used to be a luxury precinct. Louis Vuitton had a store in this center. Oh, my God, how the mighty have fallen. Look at this. In the, the forecourt here, in the courtyard here, which was a luxury precinct to suck in luxury smells, they're now selling secondhand scooters. Fuck me dead. Secondhand scooters for sale. Five hundred bucks for a new scooter. Three fifty for an old banger scooter. It's it's had a steady decline. Look at this. It's all grotty, grimy stores. There's no tenants. It's all in decay and decline. This is the Gold Coast. It is an absolute shitter. Absolute shitter. Plus size swimwear, yeah. That's uh, that's an idea. Three buck bin out the front, yep. Yeah, that's real fucking classy. That's real classy. And um, it's, it's looking, the Gold Coast is looking very depressed. I mean, where's these hordes of Japanese tourists? Nope, they're not here. It's, um, it's pretty sad, really. The whole place is looking miserable. It's looking cheap. It's looking nasty. It's just, it's just, this is the Gold Coast. This is the new world order. This is what happens when you don't have the two. Oh, you got massage places moving in. You got nail. It's just all tacky sleaze. Tacky sleaze. It's, um, it's just, it's just an awful place to be. It's slimy. It's grimy. It's nasty. You wouldn't want to be here after hours. There's, um, you know, it's just, it's just dirty. It's the Gold Coast itself now, it's just a dirty, scrubby city, high prices, and um, it's got nothing special to offer anyone. There's nothing really special uh, on offer for anyone. It's overpriced, overrated. And uh, you can see the tourists, the tourists vote with their feet. They're not fucking coming here. They're out of here, Charlie. It's all over. And uh, all, all I can say is really with the Gold Coast itself there, it's, this is the times, you know, you screw people long enough, they won't fucking come back. This is, this is the Gold Coast. So to answer your question there, no, this is all new footage. 
I shot this footage uh, on Friday. I shot this footage a couple of days ago. And uh, I just want to show you the Gold Coast in decline. It's it's a uh, it's it. This is this is this used to be the luxury mecca, luxury mecca, and uh, it's really turned into a dirty, grubby, sleazy part of town now. It's just it's sad. It's sad, fuckers. But uh, you can't keep paying those huge rents if you don't have any tourists. And uh, the tourists aren't coming, fuckers. They've found better places. You can't be flavour of the month forever. So uh, there you go, fuckers. It, a city in decline. It's uh, it, it. This is this is the reality of Gold Coast surface paradise. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third, and welcome to the program. And uh, I've got some great news. I'd like to introduce someone to the channel. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California who is a referral specialist nationwide. He can help buyers and sellers in any of the 50 United States find a quality agent to assist them in the purchase or sale of a home when they decide to escape the Western world. The latest wench has threatened to divorce them or any other any other time a real estate professional is needed. He'll pair you up with three licensed agents to interview and choose from. His fees come not from you, but the successful agent's firm once a transaction is complete. Please contact him by, him by email or phone, or simply fill out the web form. I'll put the address in the description to this video to state your needs and requests. Jason Thomas. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California, helping everyone in the United States. And uh, I got to say, fuckers, give this young man a try. Jason Thomas, real estate broker, give him a try. And, uh, you know, let's see what we can do. www.jasonthomasbroker.com Archie Luxury, supporting young individuals who want to do well for themselves. Thank you so much, Jason. I'm proud to have you as a sponsor of the Archie Luxury Program.